Okay, so we are looking at the hand, and just to let you know, this isn't somebody with incredibly long fingers. If I take this and kind of put it over my hand, that kind of shows how it is. These, these bones right in here are in the body of the hand. All right, so it's kind of ganked up. But anyway, um, so this little group of bones here, this is, these are called the carpals. You might have heard these uh, before. There's a group of eight bones in each hand called carpals. You've probably heard of carpal tunnel. If I take this and kind of raise it up, I'm trying to put it up against something. You can kind of see there's a little, a little tunnel. There's two bones on either side that kind of stick up. There would be a, a little bit of a, um, a little, oop, let me see if I can get it. There would be a, a uh, ligament that would cover here. That is called the carpal tunnel. And so uh, if it gets compromised, that can cause issues. Um, as far as I know, we do not mean to name these. Uh, but I'm going to go over them just in case. Now, again, um, they, they're just generally called carpals. So if I'm looking at them, right, so this is the thumb, right, so this is going to be a, on the lateral side. I'm going to have uh, the trapezium, and then this little one here in the middle is called the trapezoid. Whoop, trying to get to it. Uh, then we're going to have the capitate, the hamate, and then this one that's sticking out here that makes up part of the tunnel, that is, that's a little one here called the pisiform. Now, underneath or uh, posterior to the pisiform is the trequentrium. It's a weird one back here. Then from there, we have the lunate. I'm going back up. This big one here is called the scaphoid. And so then we get back up. Those are the, the eight. Now, again, um, I... I'm not sure they're not on our um, on our lab handouts, but just wanted to go over them briefly just in case. But again, there's eight bones in each wrist that are referred to as carpals. Now, these five bones are five long bones that are inside the body of the hand. They are called metacarpals. So I have carpals and metacarpals. And then when we get to the fingers and the thumb, they are simply called phalanges. Now, I'm just going to go over briefly a couple things on this. On the fingers, there are three phalanges. On the thumb, there's only two. Uh, so on the thumb, remember, we have these things called, um, we have these things called, uh, or referred to as distal and proximal. So I have a proximal phalange and a distal phalange. When I am looking at uh, a finger, I've got a proximal phalange and the distal phalange, and then this one called a middle phalange. Now, in this area, there are three joints that I just, since we're going over this, just want to touch on. Since this joint, which we would commonly consider our knuckles, these, if I make a fist, it's uh, those right there, right? Those knuckles, these are called metacarpal, which is here, phalange joint. And in, in the real world, uh, they're called MCP joints, but in, in scholarship world, you got to know them as metacarpal phalange joints. And it makes sense. I got a metacarpal on one side, a phalange on the other. So then if we look at these other two joints, I've got phalanges on either side of them. So they are called interphalangeal joints. And it's as simple as saying, since this one is closer to my shoulder, this is the proximal interphalangeal joint, and this is the distal interphalangeal joint. So I've got the metacarpal phalange, which is basically the knuckle, the proximal interphalangeal joint, and the distal interphalangeal joint. And again, in the real world, I've got the, it's the MCP. This is called the pip joint, and this is called the dip joint. And that is the hand.